pray that I'm not going to fear nothing because I've always kept God's fifth commandment said, honor thy mother and father. And I always honor my mother and father so that my days would be long and blessed days on this earth. But I know I am blessed to God. He chose me on that day, September 16, 1970, when that car hit me. And I lay dead with my body all to my head busted open. They gave me 50 50 chance to live. And I had no heartbeat. But God chose me for a reason. That's why I'm here to. Preach his word and say, repent, Jesus is coming soon. He is the Lord and Savior. There is no other God. There's no other way. And just keep on praying for my walk with the Lord. I can stay focused and keep on giving praises and singing praises to his name. In Jesus' my name, I'm going to get you out there often tomorrow to keep you on air, Pastor Bobo. I'm going to ask God to continue to lead, guide, and direct you. Amen, Pastor Bobo. I ask that you would continue to lead and guide and direct this son of yours. Bring him on, not in his strength, but in yours and your wisdom. Grant it, God, and we shall thank you that the blessing comes because you love us. And we didn't earn that love. It was a gift that came our way. Continue to help us to be thankful for Jesus. Jesus, you are the one that has given us so much that we can be thankful for. You brought us to the Heavenly Father. And we couldn't have gotten there without you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus, for all that you are in our journey. Minister to all of us, and we'll thank you. Yea, we come to thank you now. And uh, taking our next call at this moment. God bless yeah. you, Pastor Bobo. God bless yes. us all. God bless you, Pastor Bobo. God bless us all. God bless us all. I love that. Amen. I'm calling for prayer for my entire family from A to Z. Especially my little great grandchildren, Josiah, Lamaya, Aiden, and Nyla, asking the Lord to send healing their way. Asking the Lord to send healing all our way. My daughter suffers from terrible migraine headaches, asking the Lord to send healing. And one of her co workers that was uh, in remission for cancer called and said to ask us to pray for her tonight because she go for some tests this week. So I'm asking the Lord for restoration in all our relationships with family, asking the Lord for his healing power, asking the Lord to heal us from all our infirmities from A to Z, and asking the Lord also for a financial miracle and to help us to walk upright before him and keep his commandments and keep walking straight and narrow paths in his name. It's my prayer in Jesus' name. Dear Father, be with all that your daughter is bringing into prayer. Let every bit of it become a testimony. Lead and guide and direct, and we shall thank you. Bring us further than where we are. Change for the better in every bit of our journey. Minister to all of us, and we shall thank you. Yea, we come to thank you now. And taking our next call at this moment, God bless you on the air. Thank you, Pastor Bogle, for taking the call. God bless us. God bless us all. I would like for you to pray for my family from A to Z and uh, 
silent prayer for me and my sister, unspoken prayer request for me and my sister and our family and a special touch, healing touch for my son that suffers with mental illness. And I just want to say a prayer, an encouragement for the call that I called, like about two or three calls ago, about her income. And she's never been put into the situation to where she only gets three stamps. She keeps her eye on the prize. The Lord God, Jesus, will help heal her mind, her heart, and her soul. Everything will be okay with her um, disability or whatever she's trying to get. Just keep the faith and keep praying and keep 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 your mind on God and Jesus. He will provide everything that you need. And when the things come, when um, the Social Security or whatever it is that you're trying to get. God, he never leaves us and he never forsakes us, and he is always on time. He will always provide for you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Blessings upon you. And Pastor Bogo, you and Sister Shirley, to continue to be you standing up, praying for all of us. Millions of America all over. You just don't know how far you reach out on this earth. And keep continuously doing that. Blessings to you and Shirley and your whole family. Thank you, Pastor Bobo, for taking that call. And uh, you're a woman? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. What age are you at? I will be 62. It delighted at 11, 7 11, I will be 62. And I had some struggles and some battles, and you prayed me through a very, very rough time from 2014 up until now. So that's why I want to encourage that young lady to your prayers, I know they work. And that's why I always just say an unspoken prayer request because we will be on taking up majority of your time if we don't do that and we don't I don't want to be just respectful to your um other people so it covers a multitude but I stayed fast I kept my eyes on the Lord and it was not easy it was not easy and when I thought all was going to be not to be he came through, and it took almost two and a half years, but you just have to hold on and keep the faith. Keep listening to encouraging pastor like Pastor Bobo. Keep the faith and keep positive people around you. Any negative things, the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy, but you got to keep the faith. But yes. I am a woman, and I will be 62, and I thank God for every 62 years of my life. I will be a legal senior citizen this year, and I thank God for it. 